Hey everyone, my name is Lena Nori, and for those of you who are new, welcome to my channel, and those of you who are returning, welcome back, because in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Gucci Marmont quilted leather backpack. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And if you haven't noticed, a lot of my videos lately, and especially my unboxings, have been Gucci items, starting with the Gucci monogram belt that I purchased last year. I'm just all about the unique pieces. They're not just sticking to the standard crossbody or standard shoulder bag. They're adding all these new designs and all these new elements. And especially something like a backpack is so versatile. This is the perfect everyday bag. Not only is it stylish and it's chic, but you can also wear it on your back, which means you don't have to hold it on your hands. You're not gonna be lugging it around. And of course, you can hold it by the handle and then wear it on one shoulder, but it's meant to be worn as a backpack, which is on both of your back shoulders. And if you've been watching my other unboxings, I've really been sticking with the more subtle pieces Pieces, meaning just the standard black or cream leather and then it has the signature GG and the rusted gold and I just think their pieces are everything they look amazing in outfit look photos this one is just the most practical out of all of them because it is perfect for everyday use and so as usual I'm gonna go into the most important detail which is how much does this baby cost? And that's the most important question you always wanna ask yourself when you're buying something, is you wanna make sure it's gonna be in your budget and it's something worth buying. So this piece retails for $18.90 and that is without tax. And that's a little bit steep for a backpack if you're thinking to yourself, $18.90, what happened to the Jansport backpacks that you could buy for $39.99? This is obviously not meant to be a backpack to be worn in school unless you want to be stylish and you want to take it to class, but I definitely recommend this more as an everyday bag, day to day, as like a style piece. If you're wearing this every single day, you're definitely going to get your money's worth. And also too, I've been looking at a lot of other designer bags and that's also something that you want to do is when you are looking to purchase a specific type of item, whether it's a belt, a purse, a fanny pack, or a backpack, you want to look at the other designer options. And this was actually the most affordable. I'm going to throw up some pictures up on the top to show you some different designers that I was looking into. For example, there's the Saint Laurent, which is $19.90. And I just didn't like the way the Saint Laurent looked. I feel like it kind of looked like a jumbly bag. I know that's like a weird, I don't like, what does even jumbly mean? But I just didn't like the way the structure of the bag was. And then of course there's Chanel and Chanel has so many different variations, but all of the Chanel backpacks, I mean the cheapest Chanel backpack starts at like 2,900 and it goes all the way up to like 4,900. So that is like definitely on the higher end of the backpacks. And I would say the Gucci, this specific backpack is definitely on the lower end. And there is one other backpack. And next, I'm gonna throw that photo up on the top for you to see. That is a new backpack that just came out. It's kind of more of a drawstring backpack. And I would say it's about 60% of the size because I did try it on. So it was about $17.90, I believe. And I would definitely say that backpack is a lot more stylish, but this is definitely the more practical option. And so now that we've got the pricing out of the way, next we're gonna go into the specific details of this bag, starting off with the measurement. It is nine inches wide, 10 inches high, and then four inches in depth. So it's a pretty decent size. So I'm gonna show you guys what can go into here just so you can get a general idea for day-to-day -day use what you can fit inside of here. First, I'm gonna show you that I can fit my daily planner into here. It's just a cute little planner I got for like five bucks from HomeGoods and I can show you that it'll fit right into there. And then next, I'll show you that my wallet which is my Chanel wallet that I have in every single video, can also fit into here as well. So you can fit both of these items into here and there's actually still a bunch of room left in there. So as you can see, there's still space to fit other items into here as well. I'm gonna see if my laptop can fit in here. I highly doubt it just because, yeah. So if you have a laptop, this will not fit your laptop. Just showing you right there, I'm not even gonna bother trying. So now showing you the inside. And by the way, this is a two inch drop handle, which is also a great way to hold this backpack, especially if you are taking those outfit look photos. It looks incredible. And I'll show you different ways that you can hold this in just a second. But going into the inside, so the inside is the microfiber lining that looks like suede. And in this bag, it is the cream color inside lining. I wish it was a darker lining just because it will wear a lot better. And then it comes with three different pockets. So there's one pocket on the top and then two on the bottom. And those are just easy little compartments that you can put like your credit card or ID for easy access. And then there's two zippers on here. So it has one zipper on this side, another zipper on this side, and then it has those cool little 
leather tassels which just kind of give it a little bit of character and you can zip it either to one side or you can zip them both in the middle i think it looks kind of cute when you zip them both in the middle because it gives like a little bit of character to the backpack just kind of throw those little tassels on top and then as i mentioned earlier it is a two inch drop and then there's stitching all the way around the handles and then also all around the backpack and then the chevron imprint is a signature imprint that's called motlasse the only other option this came with is the same black backpack and then it has those little bugs on there and I don't quite understand the bugs. Um, limited edition pieces, I'm just not a huge fan of the bugs. So this was definitely the way to go. But as I mentioned, I would have loved to see little pearl options on here because I think that's just super cute. And this backpack came in, I believe five different colors. So this is the black. It also came in the cream, the dusty pink, which is kind of like more of the taupey pink. And then there's a baby pink as well, which is just a light baby pink. And then it came in the red. The red is super cute. I just feel like you don't really get a lot of use out of it. This is the color that I would find that I would get the most use out of just because when I am wearing something day to day, I definitely want it to be black. I know that in my other videos, I've showed you guys unboxings. For example, I have the Givenchy Antigona and it's nude. You don't want to see what that bag looks like. It is just completely worn down. So I've decided that I'm going to go with a darker everyday bag. And even the Gucci belt bag that I have, the one that goes around your waist and it's white with the pearls, I found that there's already been color transfer. I try my best not to wear it with denim, but even with being super cautious, there's definitely been color transfer on there, but I'm going to end up treating the belt bag. And then just showing you the back, the Chevron quilted imprint goes all the way in the back as well. And then these are the two straps and it has these little belt buckles right here that are cute and you can adjust the backpack so you can make it shorter there is one two three four five i'm glad i can count so there's five holes that you can adjust the handles with to make it higher you can either wear the backpack super low or you can tighten it and wear it higher it's just really your own preference or especially if you have a longer torso you're probably going to want to wear it on the bottom so if you do love this bag and you like this video make sure to give it two thumbs up I hope you guys like my review because I know it's so easy to see things online, but until you actually see it in a video, it's really hard to know how it's gonna look or even what you can fit in it because a lot of these designer websites don't have those virtual videos that show you how the backpack looks on. I actually really wish they would start making those virtual videos. I know a lot of clothing brands do that, but the designer brands have not jumped on that wagon. So this is what the Gucci Marmont Motlasse backpack looks like and I hope you guys like this video if you haven't already make sure to Subscribe to my channel and then as I mentioned give this video two thumbs up I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope I see you guys next time